No, we can't. We can't no. talk about Phoebe Poo Poo. <laughs> How long do you think we could stretch that out, though? Probably very long. Welcome to Random Word Podcast. Um, this is a podcast where we go on tangents. Yeah. What's our random word for today? Profession. Yeah, profession. That's a that that could be a very meaty topic. Uh, do you want to hear a definition for the word profession? Yeah, that's probably a good way to start. Yeah, uh, profession. It's an elementary level word. Baby word. Yeah, if you're a first grader listening to this podcast, don't worry. You're in the right place. You're in the right place. <laughs> <laughs> that's our target audience now, first graders. Just a seven-year-old. Yeah, I love this podcast. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite podcast. I didn't know what a podcast was when I was in first grade. Me neither. Year two for any of our British listeners. And the British host. Yes, and you, you British, very British person. A I am very British. A, pro- a vocation requiring knowledge of, in, of some department of learning or science. If I was a kindergartner or first grader, I wouldn't know what a vocation is. Yeah. <laughs> That feels like an unnecessarily complicated description of what essentially mean job. Yeah, a vocation is a particular occupation, business, or professional calling. And any vocation or business. Again, it's this word vocation. (laughs) Yeah, profession. This is the body of persons engaged in an occupying or calling. (laughs) Just, it's a job. Yeah, it just feels very complicated. Yeah. What did you do today? I Just danced. Straying away from the word for a minute. It's cool. What about you? Ah. Uh, I edited. I edited, yeah. You edited. Played some instruments. That was fun. Instruments are very fun. Not the editing. The instruments were fun, yeah. yeah. Um, My favorite hobby, editing. <laughs> God. Editing is very annoying um so profession uh what do you want to do profession wise uh probably like artist musician content creator something creative i'm also in the creative boat probably want to pursue music going back to that instruments topic (laughs) yeah Um, we're just gonna it all comes back to instruments it all comes into instruments okay profession Everything um, is an instrument. <laughs> everything is an instrument. Okay. Profession. A synonym for profession. Art, business, career, craft, employment, field, <laughs> line of work, occupation, pursuit. Pursuit. What, what do you, what, uh, do you have the source open? I hope you don't. I do have the source open. Okay. The second to last one is rat race. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What is why is rat race there? Rat race. Synonym I don't for rat know. race. Hamster cake? What's a synonym for rat for rat race? <laughs> Battle of life. Hamster oh cage. <laughs> Survival of the fittest. How does this come from profession? How have we gotten to rats? <laughs> yeah, how have we gotten to rats? My favorite thing in life. Okay. So yeah. one day we'll do rats. And yeah, oh maybe. boy, will you be happy. I will talk about rats for three hours. Um, I will learn about rats for three hours. <laughs> yeah, it's very like rats are very entertaining because they're very smart. They're smart like humans. Yeah, you Did can you teach know rats this? tricks, can't you? Yeah. Have you ever seen like horses do jumps? Obviously, ho- yeah. you've seen horses do jumps. Um, you can teach a rat to do that. You can't ride the rat, obviously. You'll break it. I really hope you don't ride rats. Because that's going to cause all sorts of problems. But you can most definitely teach rats to do jumps. What profession do you interact with in your daily life the most, do you think? Teacher, probably. Yeah, I guess teachers, yeah. Yeah, other than teachers. I guess, like, uh, shop shopkeepers, I guess. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Like, an- like, anytime you go into a shop, you interact with a shopkeeper. Or... A professional shopkeeper. Professional uh. shopkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> do you think anyone is like oh yes what is your line of work i am a professional shopkeeper like you would just <laughs> say i'm a shopkeeper you wouldn't yeah. say i'm a f- professional shop professional 
I am very experienced in the line of keeping shops. Yeah, the word professional is so weird because it is, it means like quite literally, I am making money from what I am doing. Yeah. But when you say professional, I could say I'm a professional dancer and I don't, well, yeah, if you say professional dancer, you'd probably be making money. But like most of yeah, the time. Yeah, if you say I people, dance professionally, then it would be like that's yeah. your job. People will say professional or profession in very non-literal ways yeah and it's it contradicts the meaning itself um because yeah, people will say professional yeah. to sh- to imply that they are the really best good at, at something. something or yeah. yeah really good yeah like you could say you're a professional cellist maybe you don't get paid to play cello but no if you say professional cellist you probably are making money true because yeah. most there are things people yeah, a lot of people that play cello make money off of cello yeah. because the only way you aren't making money off of cello here is if you're a student. True. Which even then you could still be making money on the side doing like busking because yeah. yeah, most musicians busk. It's illegal in a lot of places without a license, but most musicians do it. Um, support your local musicians. <laughs> support your local musicians, please. So rat race. Let's go back to that. Rat <laughs> Can race. we go back to rat race, please? <laughs> yeah, that's what so much more interesting. The, what is the origin of like of the phrase rat race? Like, um, where does that come from? See, what is definition the definition of, of rat race? Uh, the exact origin of the term of rat race is unknown. Gee, thanks, Google. Love you. <laughs> The definition is any exhausting, unremitting, and usually competitive activity or routine, especially a pressured urban working life spent trying to get ahead with the little time left for leisure, can contemplation, etc. I almost did that without stuttering. And then I did. Well, now we've just got it into the meaning of why. <laughs> <laughs> it may come from the practice of testing rats in laboratories. Probably. From actual rat racing sporting event until the 1800s. What? That makes sense that that's where that came from. But the 1800s. I didn't know. I didn't know there was professional rat racing. That's professional rat racing, and we've come full circle. Oh yeah, no, like there was like rat racing sporting in the 1800s. Oh, weren't they more worried about like the plague? You know. Because, like, they say that the plague came came from... That was not when the plague was, though. No. (laughs) The plague was before the 1800s. So they were going to find the rats. Yeah. Rats are great. Rats Rats are wonderful. Fancy rats. Those are the types that you can have for pets. Yeah. And I just love that they're called fancy rats. Yeah. Rather than filthy, dirty street rats, you've got your fancy, (laughs) sophisticated rats. Your distinguished rats. Yeah, and I love that they're called fancy rats because it yeah. makes them sound fancy. It implies that they, they go fancy. around wearing a top hat and it's sweet. <laughs> if I ever get a pet rat, I'm going to make it wear a top hat and I'm going <laughs> to send you a picture of said rat in a top hat. I will be so happy. I will then paint a picture of it. Well, what other like weird things would you expect? Like you can't do, you can't possibly do that professionally and yet you can. Like, Ferret racing. Can you do? Is there professional <laughs> ferret racing? But... Ferret racing is a fun countryside entertainment. What? I I used to. I say I used to have a friend. My parents used to have a friend uh, who had ferrets. Um, Wait. She, she used to take them for ferret races. Yeah. Huh. Historically, ferrets were used to hunt rabbits and rodents. You what? I did not know that. I feel like ferrets wouldn't be great at hunting rodents, considering they are a rodent. They are, they? Yeah, they are rodents. <laughs> it's like, get Wait. this ferret to hunt a ferret. Wait, are ferrets... Rodent. Rodents? It's gonna come I, up and I, be like, no, they're mammals. Ferrets are not rodents, they're weasels. Okay. Oh, well, that's okay. a... Alright, that's a stretch. What is the difference between a weasel and a rodent? Uh, rodents have front uh, buck teeth. Oh, all right. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, ferrets have sharp teeth. Yeah, weasels are just long. <laughs> <laughs> weasels are just long. Anything long, you're like, oh, that's a weasel. Yeah. Snakes, <laughs> weasels. Want to hear how ferrets are sorted? Their class is mammalia. 
They're carnivora. I didn't know they were carnivores. Is that is that what that means? I never did this in science in the years. I expect carnivora means carnivore, considering how close it is to the actual yeah. word. It might mean just a meaty animal. An animal with flesh. <laughs> <laughs> what two animals made a ferret? I didn't know they were, like, things like that weren't always existing. Experts think they were bred 2,500 years ago from European polecats. Or steppe polecats. These polecats would not be confused with skunks. Oh, should not be confused with skunks. Which are so they're not polecats. skunks. Which are sometimes called polecats. <laughs> <laughs> so now I've just learned that ferrets aren't skunks. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's a whole ferreting section on the ferret Wikipedia page. What's ferreting? Is it is it ferreting, is that hunting? Uh, yeah, it's just like yeah, it's just hunting with ferrets. Well, yeah, because a lot of people hunt with dogs. That's just a fact. <laughs> People yeah. hunt with dogs. That's why that's why gun dogs are called gun dogs. I've never heard that. That's so British. You've never heard that. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm trying to think of some gun dogs. Um I do you know. Why think when I gun can dogs. look it up? Gun dogs. Or bird dogs. Oh. Oh, there's pointers. Yeah, like spaniels and stuff. Yeah. They're things that you hunt with. I've never heard that. You've never heard How many gun dogs? Gun dog. There's thirty eight gun dog breeds. Yeah. I I believe that gun dogs might be a section in crufts. I'm not sure. It's also possible I just haven't heard it because I haven't been in the states. Do they? What do they call them in America, or do they just not have that kind of type? It's a hunting dog. Oh, you just call them hunting dogs. Yeah, it's a dog you go hunting with. Yeah, that makes more sense than gun dog. Yeah, <laughs> because the dog isn't carrying a gun, is it? <laughs> <laughs> No, we arm our dogs with guns. <laughs> no, that feels like an American thing. Uh, I feel like it might be because maybe to like send them off hunting, they'd have like a what's it called? A gun, but it don't shoot bullets. Start a pistol. That thing. Gun. Yeah. They'd go from a gunshot, so it might be that. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Maybe they're, they're just trained to recognize gunshots. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of stuff. Is... Poodle? Since when was a poodle, poodle. a gun dog? Yeah, <laughs> well, I guess they are weirdly smart. Yeah. Poodles, they're weird. They're a weird breed of dog. Yeah. I could talk about poodle dogs all day. Yeah, they're, like, smart, but then they're, now they're, nowadays they're mostly used for, like, shows. Yeah. Because they're so pretty, and you can make their hair all cute. Yeah, and you can get them in all different sizes. I think... Yeah. I can't remember if there's a poodle section in Crofts, or if they just enter a lot of poodles into that section, but there is definitely a bit in Crofts where there will be at least, like, a toy, a medium, and a large poodle. Yeah. There might be a poodle section. Now, is this, like, your main dog show in England? Oh, yeah. And... Croft is huge. Okay. Because in the States, we just have the Thanksgiving dog show. Oh, I didn't know that. Which is, which is very soon. It's, uh, as of recording, it's the 13th of November. So, yeah. I'll be watching that on probably the 26th due to, uh, or, well, late at night on um, yeah. Thanksgiving day american thanksgiving not canadian or some other country um it's nice that you have a dog hi, show for I'm thanksgiving american. ours is just yeah, randomly in july of course obviously yeah just <laughs> yeah our dog shows on the 25th of november and it's either right after or during the exact same time as the uh macy's day parade which my americans will know exactly what i'm talking about because that's the main christmas parade but it's on thanksgiving don't ask why um what so it's yeah it's the macy's thanksgiving day parade okay but a lot of it's to do with christmas why people like christmas yes but you have december for christmas why not have a christmas parade because people are busy Thanksgiving 
Thanksgiving is people are busy being thankful. Week. Yeah, no one cares about Thanksgiving, <laughs> and yet it exists. No one. That's a good choice. People care about it, but they don't care. Care. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah like people yeah. care. Care for Christmas. They'll visit family. They'll go places. They'll yeah. Have a nice Christmas meal. is an excuse to do nice things. Yeah, Thanksgiving's an excuse to stay home and watch American football. Um, <laughs> Fair enough, honestly. So, I haven't said what I'm thankful for on Thanksgiving since I was, like, seven. So, that just shows you how much we care about Thanksgiving. Like, when you're little, people try to teach their kids, like, oh, Thanksgiving's to be thankful. But it usually degrades over time. Yeah. Because people stop caring. And children stop um, having two brain cells. So then they have more and more things to be thankful for. You know? <laughs> and then, grow brain cells. Yeah. So I I would be like seven. I'd be like, I'm thankful that we have money. And I wouldn't be able to come up with much more. But now I'd be able to come up with an hour long speech on everything I'm thankful for. So that's just <laughs> no point. <laughs> Yeah, there's no point because because no because so when much. it comes down to it, no one wants to listen to some like kid talking for an hour about everything they're thankful for. Yeah, when they could be watching American football on TV. Yeah. So how it goes, how a normal Thanksgiving goes is you'll wake up, um, like good job, crack of dawn, and um, this is in the states. Here I'll wake up at like nine. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? Um, I mean, you'll knows, wake up at the crack of dawn. Yeah. But knowing England, it's not. Um, yeah. Wake up early. You'll wake up. Yeah, you'll wake up genuinely, like, very early in the morning, and then you'll um, turn on the TV. I think ABC usually hosts it. Who hosts? Who hosts the Macy's Thanksgiving Parade? I think it's ABC. It's NBC. Okay. National Broadcasting not. Channel. Yeah, um, a lot of companies like are at it, so yeah, it's a, it's like the biggest thing. So you'll get up, you'll turn on NBC, and then oh, that's a channel that has Good Morning America. Yeah, that makes sense because they're New York based. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. Macy's like is a big debar- department store. <laughs> if you don't know, um, I don't, you don't have an equivalent. That's sad. It's just kind of a store that you go to get everything. And it's in a lot of malls. And it has a lot of clothes and makeup and stuff like that. Sounds like H&M. Or not H&M, M&S. No, it's not M&S because you can't buy food. You can buy food from M&S. No, you can't buy food at at Macy's. Oh, Oh, okay. Yeah, Macy's is weird. It's like, it's a department store. Okay. But like in America, we have tons of them. Like we have Nordstrom... Hmm. And Macy's, J.C. Penney, they're all kind of the same. Um, but Macy's is like the main big one, and they're like a m- lot of money. They have a lot of money. Um, so they host this big parade, and then you watch that, and then you either watch dog show. No, you watch the dog show, which is like, which sort of overlaps the Macy's Day Parade, but only like the very end. So you watch the dog show, and then you watch either. Um, you watch either the foot the football game, the American football game, not not uh, British football, soccer, um, and then or you'll watch there's dog football. Like what? Why don't we have dog football? Because you don't have football. True. Yeah, there's like dog football. That's the best news <laughs> I've heard all day. That dogs if play I, football in America. Talking. <laughs> yeah, it's not actual football. They're not very smart. It's like a toy that looks like a yeah, because they're dogs. Smaller, obviously, they don't have the concept of how to play. But they'll have like the end zones, and they'll say that the dogs know how to play, but they really don't. That's so the best just thing. When the dogs bring <laughs> their little toy into the end zone, they'll say that that's a point, but no one really cares what the point because they're dogs. <laughs> Dogs. Uh, do we know who's yeah who's playing the Thanksgiving football game this year? I love the dogs play football in America. I love that. That's so amazing. it looks like 
on oh it's gonna be a big deal my family this year oh darn it oh so it's the lions and the bears first at uh 5 30 our time and then cowboys and the raiders at uh 9 30. so there's your football fact football fact of the day yeah i hope i hope nobody listening to this cares about who's playing in the football game this thanksgiving yeah Yeah, but the thanksgiving game is like yeah aside from like the like oh what's that one called uh super bowl you know about the super bowl i hope you do it's like the main big one um yes aside from the super bowl thanksgiving day is the biggest football game but like you, you you don't the teams don't try to get into that because you have to try to get into the super bowl. Oh, okay. just whoever ends up playing whoever ends up i playing. think don't tr- take everything i'm saying with a grain of salt i care very little about football so you have not <laughs> done much research no um fair enough professional football players are like impressive though i cannot do a sport professionally i can't do sport unprofessionally let alone professionally and yeah, here we are, we've come back round to profession. Mm-hmm. And, wait, how much, how much, I guess they make a lot from sponsorships. Yeah. Do football. They just get paid. It's probably a ridiculous amount. Not soccer. American football, they just get paid. The minimum salary was up to sixty six six hundred sixty thousand dollars a year. Wow. So that's more than a million in two years. Sports pays well. In quarter uh the highest paid uh quarterback right now is making forty five million a year. Place for the Chiefs. I want to say it's Kansas City Chiefs. I might be completely Incorrect. in the wrong. Yeah, I might have thrown the dart and hit the ball. The wall. Yeah. Um. Anyway, what? rat races. How do we get the football from rat races? <laughs> dog football. Can we revert back to dogs? Yeah, dogs are great. I, I assume um, there's an agility section in the um, American dog show. Yes. Yeah. It's the best section. Yes, it is. People bet on the um, uh, <laughs> Thanksgiving dog show on who is going to win. I don't think anyone people... bets on Crofts. <laughs> people bet on football, obviously, but then there's yeah. people that'll bet on the dog show. <laughs> I love that. I don't think anyone bets on crafts other than maybe the people in crafts. Yeah. I personally prefer betting on dogs. I also would prefer betting on dogs. But I also don't bet I'm a child in We are infantile. Yeah, we are infants. (laughs) The law thinks we're infants. We have no money. So therefore we do not bet. No, we cannot bet. Yeah, but the 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 dog show is the best part of things. What sections do they have? Do they? I assume they have like the same ones as Crofts, uh, like off the top of my head, like agility and uh, the, the show dogs, where they just look nice. I think that's what we have. I don't know. I'm not gonna Google it though, because I don't care that much about the Thanksgiving Me dog show. Um, but yeah, it's it's a general dog show. I, I assume um, where you can do dog show things. Uh, yeah. it's a good one. I prefer it over the football, so I watch the dog show. Oh, do they have flyball in, um... What? Flyball? Fly yeah, where the dogs, like... I think there's either a machine or a person that throws a tennis ball at, like, a really high speed, and the dogs just have to run back and forth, like, getting it and bringing it back. I don't think we have that. <laughs> it's amazing. And a ball just goes at immense speed, and they just have to run. Yeah. And it is the most energetic thing. I love dogs it. are great. Yeah, dog. I think what we've learned from this episode that's about profession is that dogs are great, obviously. And that rats are great. And rats are great. And ferrets are great. All animals are great. We learned that ferrets aren't rodents. Yeah, ferrets aren't rodents. That's actually quite surprising. 
Um, but yeah, yeah, I don't think we, there's much more to come away from this podcast with other than dogs are great. Yeah, ferrets I mean, we could go rodents. on about that for a while, but that might be a yeah. time f- uh, for another Ferrets are one. not rodents. Um, I've never... Rodents. It makes sense that I didn't know that, because I've never seen a ferret's mouth. Because I'm not being bitten by ferrets on a regular basis. Yeah, they have fangs. They look like... like yeah, I knew that ferrets had, like, really, really sharp teeth, but I wasn't aware that the teeth was how you distinguished a rodent from a yeah. not rodent. Yeah, ferrets, their mouth looks like a dog mouth. Yeah. And then, like... Uh, their mouth is just aggressive. Mouth. A rat mouth has, like, the two front teeth. Yeah. And I think if it's a rodent, their teeth continue to grow. Uh, yeah, and they have to... I was gonna say cut them, but, like... You Bite know, things. Wear them down. Yeah, like, if you get a pet rat, you they have, like, they sell... Um, apple, tenants. yeah, they sell apple wood sticks, and you can get put in their oh. uh, enclosure, and then they can chew on those. Oh. Or if you live in a house with no bigger animals, you just have loose rats. But people advise against that because um, they're small, yeah, you and p- you can probably, lose them. Yeah, they're very easily <laughs> losable if you let rats yeah. roam free. They can get in all sorts of crevices, and then yeah. when you've got rats in your walls, you really don't want them anymore. Yeah. I mean, the most fancy rats are pretty loyal because they're smart, so they yeah. probably won't go into your walls. Yeah, but they probably yeah they yeah they probably won't go in your walls. But um, they, like wild rats would do that. Yeah, because um, they like they don't have anywhere to nest. But most people keep their fancy rats in cages or enclosures that are yeah to keep them safe. Did you know that you can't keep them on, like, a cage that has, like, wire flooring? Because it'll hurt their feet. Aww. Yeah, That's it'll good hurt rat the... care. Yeah, it'll hurt their little tiny feet. So you have um, to get them good floors. Yeah, they'll break their toes. Yeah, people put... Uh, most yeah, rat cages... Yeah, most rat cages don't have uh, wire floors, obviously, because it's bad for them. It's bad for a lot of rodents with, like, the uh, little grabbies. Um but yeah. uh because like of the their, way toes, their toes be yeah their toes will get trapped and then break um yeah and that would be the, like the tiniest broken foot ever yeah um, be- very complicated to fix no they'll just lose the toe <laughs> oh they just lose the toe yeah it's still complicated <laughs> yeah um, amputate a tiny little little rat foot yeah um so most people put like cardboard or plastic or Carpet, carpet, like you said, but carpet isn't as good because it's harder to clean. Um, yeah, and little rat treats will get stuck in it. Yeah, and probably because they like yeah. they like to hide their food. Yeah, because they're so cute. They'll take, they'll take it and they'll put it in your carpet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably does it uh, work in like British style carpets where they're like dense and flat. Yeah, well, I mean. My carpet was really, really soft when we first got it, and now it is dense and flat. Yeah. I mean, yeah, mine's mine were soft, and then as you walk on it, they obviously like pack down, and yeah, then they're dense. But and... I still, I still find yeah. things embedded in them, and by things, I mean cat claws. Hmm. So, rats could probably hide treats in there. <laughs> I think I saw at a pet shop once, like rats. They were just cuddling in a little nest of like, uh, I want to say hay, but I don't know if it yeah. was. Yeah. Would have been hay. No, hay it was... it's like a rabbit, like grass, and it's yeah. I but you know don't remember. I mean. Yeah. They were just nesting in it, and I just yeah. stared at them the entire time. My dad was at like the checkout getting stuff yeah. for the dog, and I was yeah. just staring at these rats because they were so cute. Yeah, the fancy rats like to cuddle. They they're. They're um they're like humans. They don't like to be alone. Um, if you leave, if you get a single rat, they'll get they can get depression. <laughs> oh, like um, like rabbits and guinea pigs, where they die of yeah. sadness. Yeah. Well, they ra- uh, rats won't die, but they'll get very sad, and they oh. won't be as cute. Well, and they'll you don't be want they'll still be rat. cute. Yeah, they don't. They'll be cute they, but sad. They'll be cute, but they'll be sad, and they'll be less social, and they won't like humans as much. They don't. They like to be in pairs or more, but then you can't have two of different sex rats because then 
You'll have lots then of you, wrath. Then you get rot so, babies. Yeah. yeah, and they'll be aggressive towards opposite sexes. Yeah. So, yeah. If they aren't mates. And the, so either way, you, your rats are going to try to kill each other or they're going to be, or you're going to have lots and lots of rats. So, yeah, it's either get a lot of rats or have two rats that want to kill each other. Yeah. So if you have like different sexes, most people have two cages, one for yeah. male rats, one for female rats. Um, yeah. But then they probably have to get four rats. Yeah. And then you, a lot of people that have rats have lots of rats. Because if yeah. you like rats, you like you like rats a lot. Yeah. Um, if you like rats, rats, you're willing to have a lot of rats. And baby rats are very cute. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I can say I've ever seen a baby rat. Not like so a I... super young baby, but like when they're like a couple weeks I'm old. I'm looking up baby. Oh my god. Those First they're the pink. Cutest. First they're pink, and then they just have big eyes. Yeah, there are pink ones, and then there are tiny little fluffy ones. Yeah, because they're oh born my pink. God. But then yeah. they, but then they go like that, and then they'll have like fur, and then they'll be very cute. Yeah. So all we're learning is that rats. Oh, are great. baby rats! Yeah. <laughs> baby <That> is... rats! <laughs> yes. Today has been a good day. I learned yeah. that dogs play football in America, and baby rats look like that. <laughs> and I'm so, very upset that anyone listening can't see that. Yeah, um, listeners, this is a call to action. Please look up look baby, up baby rats. rat, but not the pink ones because the pink ones are kind. Of, they look like pink, and they're not that entertaining. But <laughs> the fluffy ones, though, they get their fur. They're very cute. Yeah. To quote Will Wilbert, their babies are pink and wrong. <laughs> yeah, their babies are pink and wrong, but then they're and then they're not pink, and then they're not wrong, and they're the best. Um, yeah, then rats they're are fluffy and that. wonderful. Yeah, if you don't have a cat, you should get a rat. If you don't have a dog or a cat, you should get a rat. I unfortunately have both, so I cannot get. Yeah, a rat. you you should not get rats. Your dog would eat them, because don't you have a spaniel type of thing? I do have a spaniel. Yeah. Yeah. Sprocker. And yeah. I have two murderous cats. Yeah. They would all try to eat it. Yeah. Don't don't get a rat. Um, no. Rats hating opposite sexes is interesting because, like, cats hate the same sex. That's why we had to get um, a girl sorry. cat and a boy cat because... Yeah. Because um, otherwise they'd fight over territory. That's only if they're not uh, spayed or neutered, though. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, if then they're we fixed... could have gotten two girl cats, but no. Yeah, if they're fixed, they're usually asshole. yeah, yeah. If they're fixed, they're usually fine. Um, yeah. Or if, or you could just have a cat that's a jerk, because cats can be jerks. We do. Um, we might just have two cats that are jerks, to be honest. Yeah, my cat. Um, uh, we got him when he was a kitten, and we had another cat in the house at the time, and they loved each other, and then. We lost the other cat, but our current cat, we still had him, obviously. And then um, he hates all of their cats now. He oh. only likes this one cat that is now uh, unfortunately passed. But um, yeah, he's a jerk now. Only, only <laughs> he's, he's a loner. He only likes himself. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> he likes us and himself. Um, Aw, our cats don't like, don't like cats. us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, like... One cat likes me. Is she in here right now? No, she isn't. But, like, one of our cats likes me for some inexplicable reason. Maybe because I actually love her sometimes, whereas my parents are like, anyone who comes around, they're like, take her, please. Mm. And I'm like, no, no, I like her. And then my other one, he either hates everyone and tolerates my mother, or hates everyone and likes my mother. Because mm. before we had the dog, uh, he used to sit on her all the time. Now both the cats like me a bit more because my room is the only room the dog can't get to. Ah. Uh. Well, so maybe they don't like you. They just like being alone and left alone by the puppy. That's probably it. Does yeah. uh, does she uh chase the cats? Yes. Then that's probably why. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly why. I mean, so you one also got a hunt. Loves me, yeah. and one tolerates me. 
you also got a hunting dog, like a I dog did. that's like bred to hunt. Yeah. I doubt you, you you're gonna be going hunting anytime soon, but no. like they like I to mean, chase things. Anything yeah. that moves, they'll chase it. Yeah. She she really loves like she has this herding instinct. Uh, yeah. Which is unsurprising. But yeah. She gets a bit anxious <laughs> if she knows we're in different rooms. So when I'm upstairs, like she isn't bothered. But yeah. if we're all downstairs in different rooms, she gets a bit like everyone. I need to be with everyone at once. <laughs> yeah. It's very sweet, but also annoying. <laughs> she loves yeah, my... people as well. Yeah. My cat likes to. Yeah, my cat likes to know where his people are, is what we say. Yeah. So he'll sit up on his cat tree. We have a tall cat tree. It's probably like six foot tall. Um, it's not super tall, but it's a cat tree. Um, and he'll sit up on the top of it and just watch. Oh. And he'll watch. And he'll watch. And he'll watch. And he'll watch. <laughs> <laughs> he he's staring. Yeah, he he watching. Um. He watching. So that should be it for this episode. Yeah. We got I think through we ex- exhausted profession. Yeah. We exhausted a profession a long time ago and moved on to pets. Yeah. Pets are just obviously superior. Um Yeah, who wants a job when you can have a rat? Yeah. Yeah, exactly my thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, or even so, rather get a job with rats, then you get paid to spend time with rats. That would be great. Like there's um exotic pet vets because rats yeah. obviously fall under exotic pets for some stupid reason. So uh-huh. like that's why it's hard to have rats. Um, because unless there's an exotic pet vet near you, like yeah. you won't have access to vet care for them. Um, like and then so, when your rat gets sick, you've got a problem. Yeah, and rats are prone to cancer and stuff. So yeah. Um. It's better to not have a rat if you don't have a proper veterinarian near you. Yeah. Anyway, we were ending this, and then I already went, and then I went on another tangent about rat vets. Cat. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, we should actually wrap up. So, thank you for thank, thank you, you for, for watching about rats. Thank you for watching, listening, watching, listening. I really hope they're not watching their, their Spotify as it plays audio at them. I mean, we have a YouTube. We do have subscribe a YouTube. To the, subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. So, subscribe to subscribe, the YouTube. Subscribe, please. Subscribe to the YouTube, even if you're listening on Spotify. Because then yeah. we'll get um, that will promoted be links more. links in the thing, the bio, yep. that's what links it's called. In, links in the description if you're on YouTube. Links to the... Um, uh links uh, to the links will be links in... to the socials yeah links will links to the socials you can find them links uh, will be in the link tree yeah links will be oh god what's it called the, the episode description and the spotify um podcast go. description so yes. you can find us on uh instagram and find us everywhere Twitter. yeah i think we have a tumblr you can send yes. us questions yeah, yeah do that send us questions and we'll answer them maybe um yeah we will uh yes you can send us those on twitter or tumblr i think that's it i think maybe I mean, you can do theory... it on i think you can do it on anchor but then you have to do it by voice so yeah just i mean in theory you could just out. comment them on the instagram updates but that's yeah. probably not the best way yeah um either way ask us questions talk about yeah. the episode um, have fun tag us, tag us. Hashtag random word podcast, where we will be able to find what you say about us. So, um, and if you say anything mean, we will hunt you. <laughs> we will hunt you down and kill you. I have a gun dog. I will use it. <laughs> Does that is she... a joke. I will not hunt you with my gun dog. <laughs> Does she know how to operate a gun? <laughs> <laughs> not yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> Bye. Bye.